I think Ramon's here. Ramon. Mad love for the old school's CF-48s with the arrow covers. Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna show you all Hondas. If I ever get a chance to get a coupe like this, I'd have totally buy one. 14 inch T-37s, goes extra hard. Free sticker? Don't mind if I do. Got the homie Chris from Dark Side out of San Jose, California. Guys, this is not a show car. This is a track monster. Chris, love what you did with the car, man. Love the new wheel setup as well. Fire. So here's one of my favorite cars that I did not really get to see much. It uh, belongs to the homie Carlo. On Instagram is Carlo, but his name is Carlos, and uh, this car was actually a friend of mine, which ended up in his hand, and he entirely changed it. Check it out. This car was built for SEMA. There's an entire video of him putting his whole car together. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll probably link it in above here. And uh, this thing is badass. What really makes this car is the paint job. Literally every nook and cranny of this car has been touched, changed out, swapped out, literally rebuilt from the ground up. You, you know what this tells me? How it's nice and clean in here? Do I clean it? You, do you clean it? I clean it every once in a while. Oh, I was going to say, it looks like you're not hitting enough boost, my guy. It should be looking like this right there. <laughs> Yeah, man, this is hard. You said it was how much? Make how much this time? Uh, right now it's like at 620. That's what we call it. 620. Yeah, the, 620. The wheels are putting on the dyno, so that's the best we could. Uh, but it's got room to make a ton more. We'll max that turbo out, probably 720. Or right, right. I was looking at that back housing, a little small, but you know what I mean. That's still a lot yeah. of power for the street. Yeah. That's because because you do drive this car, though, right? I drive you it drive everywhere. It. Dude. Yeah, you I drove it here. I drove it an hour and a half to get here. Because you live south of me. I live uh, all over yeah, oh yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, this car, guys, is not a trailer queen. This car made it, to, it was in SEMA. SEMA 2019. He drove it everywhere, all the meets and stuff out here. Look at it. Still beautiful. Here's a fact. I've been running Function Form for like the last 11 and a half years. And uh, it's been serving me well. I think it's time to upgrade though, to be honest with you guys. So if you guys don't recognize that car, it belongs to Christian No, and uh, actually he's a local YouTuber to me. I've been following this guy for a cool minute, and it's finally nice to actually get to meet him. I spoke to him when I first came in here, and uh, we might we might stop by his shop soon since he's only about five minutes down the street from me. But he has some pretty cool builds. This car just came out of uh, paint and literally made it right on time for Week Fest. Maybe if I can catch him around, we'll we'll chop it up with him a little bit more. This car is bad. This car came out of a shop that I've been following called Works Customs. And uh, he, he literally handmade these flares right here, molded it on, made it one piece, sprayed it up and everything. Guys, this is called art. Look at that intake. Holy moly. Hey, this car reminds me of the Miata with that, uh, that rotary. We, we definitely got to go check it out. But this is the Narc 7, guys. Looks sick. Just show you guys some of the other cars that, uh, I mean, there are here as well. Back in the days, Week Fest used to be a bunch of Hondas and stuff. I'm not going to lie. Guys, next year, this is my goal. This is my goal right here. So one thing that caught my eye with this car right here is the wing 
and I'm almost certain that these these pieces are made out of carbon fiber in a different strand I don't know the correct terminology for this but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to make parts out of this material quick things and uh, some ground rules for like the judging that we do and whatnot so as we help as we watch everyone get together I just want to thank everyone for yesterday before then because it's been a while I just want to say a few quick things unrelated it's been a while since we've all been together so <laughs> just... guys I walked past this like skyline 10 times and I thought it just had a carbon front but the entire car is freaking carbon fiber. That black EG on the other side, the first one I showed you guys, this is also his 6'4". This thing right here is freaking wicked. Damn, Chris. I'm gonna need a ride soon, bro. You guys already know, this is the homie Higgins built. Got his hatch out here, as always. You know, I, I looked at this car earlier, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Attention to details, I love it. Thank you. Hell yeah, bro. Like, I was looking at all this little, like, tabs and stuff you ran right here. Thank the, you. the freaking battery post has its own little box instead of drilling, drilling into the frame. Right, right. Yeah, it's man. One of those, like, I did have them drilled into the frame, you know, like, the very first phrase. Right. But then it's like, what if you want to get rid of it? Exactly. You know, so I can just get rid of it, change it up. And I like it. I, I really love, I, I love the, the little, like, extra stuff that was done to this car, bro. Hell yeah. If you guys want to know how to build war winning cars, these are right, right here. So me and my buddies are just chilling here. We're trying to figure out if this is a real CTR Civic. So a lot of the parts on this car is CTR, but we can't really tell if it's a real CTR given that it is right-hand drive. But let me tell you guys one thing. The antenna for a right-hand drive real CTR would be on the right side. But if you look, it is actually shaved off, right? So what most people do is that they shave this off when they convert their car to right-hand drive because it is a simple way to tell if it's a real one or not. Because if this was a real CTR, you wouldn't be shaving all that. Now, if I ever built an EG growing up off a of Honda Tech, this is how I want my car to look like. Fire. Dinner, right? Yes, sir. Anthony, what's going on? Doctor. Hell so, yeah! Man, I watch your videos. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Shit, so, like, you're like one of the few guys who's still like grinding through your things. I'm just a regular Joe, man, just wrenching on cars, bro. That's all it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. I'm just out here trying to share my passion with everybody. That's all it is. <laughs> Holy cow! Check this thing out. This is definitely one of my favorite cars out here, for sure.
Okay, this thing has got a K-series engine in it. Wow. Yo, check this out. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I seen this on the I follow on the on the gram. Yeah, on the gram. Yeah, yeah. Asians <laughs> never die, bro. That's yeah, what's up. Okay, too, we're from San Jose. The U.S. logo. Yeah, we're from San Jose. Oh, yeah. that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, you guys already sold out some things right here, bro. You did an last episode. Y'all painting uh, Leo's um, uh, ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's what I said. I follow religiously, man. Booth garage, killing it out here with the VIP squad. Holy freaking moly. What's happening? What's going on, bro? Long time no see. Yeah. Guys, this is one way to lower your CRV. Small wheels and small tires. But let me tell you what. I like the execution. <laughs> So check this thing out. What caught my eyes is the tires. These are 295. Caged, tubbed. I bet you this thing is a blast to drive. YouTube Appreciate it. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. I see you rolling this thing over earlier. What is this? Yeah, it's a, it's a two piece lower pan. So, oh, wow. Is, the KAs have a stainless steel pan, right? Right. We uh, found an aluminum pan that works at both on the bottom of the block. You can run a stud train for the turbo. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> oh, I'd so rock this. By 11? By 11. Bro. 295, 30, 18. You're wildin', bro. You're wildin'. Thank you. And then right, the back, the right. back? The back is uh, 18 by nine and a half, plus 33, out there. So it's out. That's why it looks like, it looks even. It's a 265. It's a 295. That's ridiculous. Damn.